remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? If you have not noticed, there's a join button on your desktop, your laptop, and your iPad. If you don't see it on your phone, all you have to do is click on the link in the description and become a member of the Willie D Live community. In exchange, you will get perks. We're talking about access to live streams that the public will not ever, 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 ever get a chance to see. I am bringing back my advice column that I used to do in the Houston Press. You guys ask me questions, I will answer them. We're going to go live with that. Also, I will be giving you access to videos before they go public. So check it out. Click on the link. Uh, take a little old tour of the details and join. Support, support, support. Also, make sure if you have not done so already after you subscribe, you click on that link next to your subscribe button and that is the notification bell. Click that notification bell link so that you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video. That way you'll be in the loop. Make sure you click on all notifications. Otherwise, you may not get any notifications. Now, let's get right on into it. December 20th was graduation day at the Santa Rosa Correctional Institution. This is some good news, family. Finally, there's some good news in crime and punishment. Diplomas were awarded to GED graduates and certificates for inmate teaching assistants and law clerks and 45 inmates earned commercial driving license certificates. The CDL program has been so successful that the Secretary of the Florida Department of Corrections, Mark Inch, and his staff made the trip to attend the ceremony. Inch accepted the position in January 2019. Working with Governor Ron DeSantis, he has been able to get funding to start vocational programs like the CDL certifications. Although SRCI is the only CDL program in the state, Mr. Mark Inch plans on expanding the program to other cities. Give Mark an inch and he'll take a yard. That's what I'm talking about, man. And salute to the governor for being receptive because oftentimes, you know, people talk about trying to curb the recidivism rate. They talk about reentry programs and how much they're for the inmates and, and the community and protecting the community and all of this stuff. But their actions show something totally different, especially when it comes down to, to voting. They want to be tough on crime, tough on crimes, tough on the inmates, tough on everybody. And people that don't really understand uh, human behavior how this thing works, they just automatically think that as long as they're being tough on everybody, uh, anybody that's accused of anything, that somehow it makes them safer when it doesn't in many, many cases. You got to give people hope. If these guys are locked up and all you're doing is babysitting or adult sitting and they're just you're just housing people, putting them in cages and treating them like dogs. Because a lot of these COs are low down and dirty. They are totally uncivilized. And they really perpetuate a lot of the chaos that goes on in prisons. In fact, it can't even happen without cooperation from the COs. So... When I see these type of programs, when I see people that's putting in the work like Mr. Mark Inch and, you know, even the governor, Ron DeSantis, that makes me feel good. I mean, I think that they're on at least that's a good step in the right direction. When you have these programs where you offer certifications and higher learning 
to inmates while they're in prison, it gives them something to do with their time. They're productive. If they're doing something productive, they're not sitting around thinking about something that may get them in trouble. You know how they say, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So they're giving these guys something to do. And these guys are motivated to get their certifications, to get their diplomas, to better themselves, and they have something to look forward to when they get out. Because oftentimes, these guys get out, they don't have a diploma, they don't have a certification, they don't have anything, and when they get out, they can't re-enter into the workplace, at least not to get anything that is not entry level, you know. Pretty much anybody can find something at a fast food restaurant or something, but some of these places that require a certain skill set and where the, uh, what do you call it, there has to be a, a new learning that has to happen, you know, every few years. You know, they may have had a certification for something in the past, but now, you know, they're operating under different rules and different standards. So they got to catch up. And these guys are not prepared. And, you know, society don't give you a lot of time to catch up. It don't really give you a lot of time, especially when they're putting this stuff all in your face, all this, everybody look like you jump on social media, look like everybody got money. Everybody living their best life. You know, everybody vacationing. Everybody driving a Rolls Royce. Everybody living in a mansion and walking on marble floors. Everybody got bank money. You know? And it's a lot of pressure. I'm not making an excuse, but I am giving a reason for some of this recidivism. You know, it's a lot of pressure. You know, when you get out of prison, everybody's happy to see you for the first few days. You know, everybody you ain't seen, they're happy to see you the first time, maybe even the second or third time. But man, after you've been home for two weeks, two months, shit, man, it's time to get it. You know, you better have something going on. Or these same people that you're living with, they're going to be like, man, you sitting at the house, they going to work. You eating up all the food, sucking up all the air. They like, man I, man, I don't know how long I can do this. So you can't be really angry at people when they are giving you a, a hand up and you know, their, source, their resources are running dry. They're getting low on resources, so they have to do what's best for them and their family. And I don't care if you family or not, at some point they're going to be like, yo, man, you got to do something. It's only so long that even if you got a woman, that she going to handle that. She going to take that. You got to get out there and get something. My advice to any new inmate is to make the most use of your time in a positive way so that you can set yourself up to be in a better position when you get out. Because where we are today was most likely determined by the work we put in or didn't put in in the past. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>